What's up Video Fort Nation, I'm Magic Bard and for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do an advanced smooth zoom. Now you've probably seen a bunch of smooth zooms out there on different travel vlogs, um, adventure vloggers, they like to use it and it looks really cool. So I'm going to show you how to add little tweaks and effects to make your smooth zoom stand out from the competition and really add some flair into there. But if you're new to Video Fort, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to that. So that way, whenever we upload a new tutorial, you'll be the first to check it out and learn epic visual effects every single week. Without me talking too much about it, let's jump into it and try this effect out. All right, so let's dive into this and try to make this a quick one. I'm going to show you how to do this smooth zoom out effect. Take your clips and I have a few shots that I got from videofort.com where you can get a lot of really cool aerial footage. So I'm gonna take this San Francisco shot, drag it into a new comp and trim it down to where I want it. Okay, and then I'm gonna drag my ocean side shot, drag it down here and line it up. Okay, so this is where our zoom is going to take place. So first things first, let's add a transformation or transform effect onto here. And we are going to keyframe the scale. Press U to open up that keyframe and go backwards 10 frames or 8 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Drag that keyframe over there, snap it on and let's zoom out maybe 30. Now we need to fill up all this black space so go to motion tile add that onto there and put it on top of our transform and open up the width and height and mirror the edges. Now if you guys have something like this a black line on your clip I'm going to show you how to fix that really quickly. So let's delete the motion tile and delete this transformation. And what we're going to do is go to layer precompose. Now you guys don't have to do this if you don't have the black line. I'm just showing you if you do, this is what you, this is how to fix it. So move all attributes and San Fran comp. Okay. And then trim it back down option and bracket, double click it to open it and scale this up. So hit S and scale it up to 101% and that'll get rid of any black parts anywhere in your frame. So we fixed that part. Now let's go back to our add motion tile and add transformation, transform. Okay, and let's add our keyframes in here. So we're gonna keyframe the scale down to 30, just like what we had before. Go back eight frames and back to 100. Okay, so it's gonna zoom out. And now let's turn up our output height, turn up our output width, and mirror the edges. Okay, so now we can have this clear zoom in. Now let's press U to open up our keyframes and see what we're working with. So zoom in here by pressing the plus sign, select both keyframes, right click, keyframe assistance, easies, okay? And then what we're going to do is kind of smooth this out and speed it up. So hit this graph editor, select our scale parameters, and take these handlebars, and what we're going to do is create a exponential looking graph. So bring the handlebar to the right, and bring this one also to the right, so the influence is 100%. Okay, so you want 100% and then close to 0% here. So that way, as we zoom out, it'll start to quickly zoom out towards the end and then go to our clip. So now we need this sort of blur effect. So what we're going to do is uncheck this use composition shutter angle and turn up our shutter angle to 260 or anywhere in between um, 180 and 360 looks good. So then we'll have this zoom effect. Okay. And you know, we don't want it to be crisp and clear right here. So I'm going to take this keyframe and drag it out one frame. And that way it will go from here 
into our next clip. Now, that's your normal smooth zoom. What we want to do is add a little bit more to this. So we're going to go into our effects and presets, type in bulge, add that right under our transformation. We can close these guys for now. And with our bulge selected, you're going to take your horizontal radius and vertical radius and fill up the screen. So you can see the bulge right here. And what you want to do is fill it up all the way to the edges, right about there. And I'm going to hit this little toggle mask so I can see the bulge mask. And we're going to turn it up on the vertical radius as well. OK, that looks good. Now what we want to do is bring our bulge height to zero. So click it, go to zero. And we're going to keyframe that. So bulge height keyframe. Then at the very end of our zoom, we are going to go to the negative value. So go and type in negative two, see what that looks like, and it'll stretch it out. So as we zoom out, it'll make it look even more drastic with this bulge zoom effect. This is one way to add a little more to your smooth zooms with the bulge. Now we're going to add another effect on top of the bulge as we zoom into our ocean side. So right here, let's add in a transform again. And what we're going to do is turn off our shutter angle and turn it up to 260, just like that last clip. And let's keyframe the scale. Hit U so we can see that and bring it out eight frames. Okay, right there. And then we're going to start zoomed in, so maybe 300, okay? And then it's going to zoom out like that. Okay, cool, so we're getting there. Now what we want to do is add our bulge. And we're going to do an opposite. So instead of going from our bulge height into the negative values, we're going to go to our positive values, which is what it's in right now. So remember, let's fill that screen with the bulge mask and really fill it up right there. That looks good. And let's keyframe that bulge height. So bring it down to zero. Make sure our playhead is at the end of the zoom. So we have bulge height at zero and then bring it to the very beginning. And let's bring that bulge height up to one. And let's see what that looks like really quickly. Um, one may be a little too much. Actually, that kind of works. Okay, cool. So the whole point of the bulge, this is what the bulge does. Um, we're zooming out on our footage right now. If you were to zoom in, you can see how the bulge kind of distorts the outer edges of it and this is kind of what happens when you have a fish eye lens so when you get really close to subjects things start to bulge out on the outer frames so what the bulge does on this smooth zoom is it makes it look like you are moving very quickly with your camera towards the subject as opposed to when people do smooth zooms it looks like they are they have a zoom lens and they're zooming in with the lens really quickly so the bulge makes it look like you're really dollying in more okay um, it's a little different look to the effect so it's really up to you right now on top of the bulge we're gonna add another effect to really spicing things up um, so let's let's try this one take your ocean side composition and we're going to add a thing called the channel shifter no it's called shift channels i don't know why i keep calling it the channel shifter um and we're going to take red from red keep that there we're going to turn off the green we're going to turn off the blue okay and now what that does is it only shows the red channel of our clip so what we want to do is duplicate that twice and create a green and blue. So let's rename these to green. 
Okay, so Oceanside Green, we're going to have Oceanside Blue, and we're going to have Oceanside Red. Okay, and then make sure that our effect reflects what we just named it. So red, we're going to turn off the red and we're going to turn on the green. So green to green, green to green right there. And then on the blue, we're going to turn off the red and we're going to turn on the blue. So blue to blue. Okay, so now we've got our three channels. Select them all and hit the toggle switches and modes button so you can see your modes. And with all of your Oceanside clips selected, we can go to screen. Now I'll bring it back to normal. Okay, so now what we want to do is add an effect called optics compensation. Add that to the top red clip. Now you can add that to the green or blue, but I'm going to mess with the red one right now. And press U to open up our keyframes because I want to see what's going on here. And what we're going to do is with the red selected, we're going to mess with this field of view. So let's keyframe the field of view at zero at the very end. And then halfway through, actually just a few frames back, I want to show you what this optics compensation does. So hit this reverse lens distortion button and then turn up the field of view to about 100. And you'll see that as it zooms in, it will really distort the red channel of your clip. So this will add a digital distortion to your smooth zoom. So that really makes it look cool, right? And this will be really different than what other people are doing. So hit U so we can see that keyframe right here. And then let's drag it to the very end. So then as things really stretch out, our channels are also stretching out and then coming back to normal. Okay, cool. And then what we're going to do is select our scale, both of these scale keyframes, right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease. Go to our graph editor and we are going to mess with that. So make sure the scale is selected on the red channel and let's uh, turn that up and make our exponential looking graph right there. Cool, that looks good. And so that only, we only messed with the scale for the red channel. We're gonna have to do that for the green and blue, but you can kind of see what's happening here. So we have the red channel with an exponential scale zoom out while the other channels are not doing that and it creates this kind of cool effect okay now you can leave it here if you like it like that but I want to fix these as well so I'm gonna go to the scale keyframe assistance easy ease, and graph editor do the same thing here so now we've got our smooth zoom right into there let's check it I'm going to drag my playhead out a bit, press N on my keyboard, bring it to the beginning, press B as in boy on my keyboard, and RAM preview it. Okay, cool. I like what we got going on here. Okay, so now you guys can see how you can really mess with the channels, the color channels of your footage adding a bulge effect to really stretch out an image or or bulge it in um, depending on what you like and there's really a lot you can do with this um, changing the channels effect this is called a chromatic aberration when you have your reds blues and greens and moving them around um, and stuff like that um, and using the optics compensation you can really stretch it out as you can see like that Okay, and that'll really, it'll almost bulge it on the sides, right? And that is your advanced smooth zoom with a bulge and chromatic aberration effect. Hey guys, I hope this tutorial helps you create more epic visual effects transitions 
in your new editing and visual effects journey. So if this tutorial helped you out at all, please leave us a like. We really appreciate it. And leave us a comment if there's any visual effects you want to learn, any editing techniques you need to know more about. Let us know in the comments. We'll try to address them as soon as possible. I want to give a quick shout out to Max I for leaving us some love on that last head regrowth, head explosion tutorial. And that's it for today, guys. I'm Magic Bard. This is Video Fort, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.